I'd like to start this video by doing a little update on my birdhouse. I uh, thought it looked a little too plain. It was just, uh, uh, you know, all natural color wood. So I did a little updating by painting the roof. And that plywood actually took on a real interesting look. I thought it turned out good, at least as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what y'all think, but uh, anyway, my entry's been updated. Better than ever, I hope. Okay, one more item before we get to the main event. Anybody know what this is? I'll tell you a little about it and see if you can figure it out. I got this many years ago, and it is old. Came from the Civil War era. A belt buckle from a Confederate soldier. That's what it is. That's Confederate States of America. What that CSA stands for. The belt buckle looked like this, you know, all around. It was just really bad. And uh, this is the results of Flitz. Strictly Flitz. Cleaned it up. Shined it. Nice brass buckle. Shows up well. So that's an unusual item, just wanted to show you kind of what Flitz does for restorations. Okay, the item we're covering today is a plow wrench. I've heard that term before, but didn't know a lot about it, so we'll tell you about it. You can see uh, this wrench has got FOMOCO on it, which stands for Ford Motor Company logo. And it's got a scale on it numbered that wrench is ten and a half inches long a heavy duty wrench got a little video I'll show you hold on here it comes I've been looking around for uh, more automobile wrenches something a little unusual and by golly I found one it's great Ford wrench only with the FOMOCO, Ford Motor Company logo on it, USA. And it's got a scale on it of inches. This is actually 10 and a half inches long. It's a 19 millimeter wrench. And uh, big, heavy duty, solid. Thought it's real interesting with all of this raised lettering on here. This will finish real nice. Uh, Got to take some dings out of it. Not too many. Uh, of course, lots of rusted patina. But it, any wrench this age is going to have that. But uh, you can see why I'm excited about this one. Uh, just something really different than anything I have. And, of course, the first one I've seen with the this logo on it. So I'll be... Uh, Putting this one through its paces and bringing it back to you when it's ready. Okay, here's the reveal. Here's that wrench restored. And we made a nice improvement in it, of course. So what we do, the uh, scale of it was a little small. My picture came out different. But you can see the wrench, how big and heavy it is. I mentioned 19 millimeter because there was a 19 on the back, but the wrench is not 19 millimeter. It's 11 sixteenths on this end, and one in one and a sixteenth inch on this end. And of course, in addition to cleaning it up, we highlighted the scale, the inch scale, part number, 9N17014, the FOMOCO logo, and of course USA. Now we'll tell you a little about the, about the wrench. This wrench was included in a Ford toolkit for a Ford tractor in series. It was furnished with the 1939 through 1952 in series tractors. And this is the toolkit. Henry Ford was an interesting guy. He liked to standardize things. He liked to keep them simple and liked to keep his cost in line. That's why he made so many zillions of Model T's 
he found out a way to make them uh, economically and sold them unbelievably. All of these wrenches, other than the plow wrench, were standard wrenches that were supplied with automobiles and vehicles that Ford sold. This is the only special one that only went with the with the tractor uh, and, and the tractor kit. So all of these in the tractor kit, these can't were standard out of the parts bin. This is a special item that was made. The logo on the, on this wrench has a story too. Originally the Ford logo inside the, the oval, which is the Ford logo, was uh, on the wrench from 1939 to 1950. And in 1950, they started using the FOMOCO name for Ford Motor Company. And this wrench was changed in 1950. Again, this was the only wrench that was peculiar to the tractor. And there's lots of stories out there. As I was doing my research, it said this wrench was used to check the fuel level in the tractor by dipping it in the tank, and you could see how much fuel was in there. But that's not true at all. I don't know where that developed along the way. This was a plow wrench. It's meant to be used on the plow that came with the tractor. And what the gauge is for was to measure the depth of the furrow you cut with the plow. So you work, this was a plow, a wrench that only worked on the plow. And this is a gauge you use by sticking it in the ground to see how deep of a, of a furrow you're getting when you're plowing the earth. And that's the history and the story of the plow wrench. A great looking item. Definitely going to be on my display board. And uh, thanks for letting me share it with you today.